Welcome back to Jatai Academy. I'm Russell Mays, Director of Content, and today we're going to be doing a skin fade. Now, I have to admit, I'm not the best at the skin fade, but I think I do a pretty decent job. So, after checking his skull and seeing if there's any kind of divots or anything that I have to be mindful of, I'm going to go ahead and take my clipper and, with no guard, as close as I can get it, as close as the blade can be, as short as I can get, I'm going to go through and cut everything short underneath and this is going to give me like my fade line that I'm going to start blending to the top and I'm basically going to the top of the parietal, oh, I'm sorry, the bottom of the parietal ridge, the top of the flat section. So I'm going to skin everything else underneath that and then we're going to start blending to the top. So here I'm taking my guard, it's probably a one and a half and now I'm going to do this a little different than what most people do. Most people will start where that line is from the short to the long and start blending out the line. I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to go through and cut all my length to where the top starts blending with the sides. And then I'm going to start working down. So there's really two ways you can go through and do a fade. There's the top down and the bottom up. The bottom up will usually consist of taking all the hair underneath really short like I did initially and then working that line as I blend it up. Top down means I'll cut my lengths on top long and then slowly gradually get shorter as I go near the hairline on the bottom. So I'm doing a blending of the two. I'm going to cut my you know, a fade line first and then I'm going to start blending that line out after I've cut my overall length for the top blending that down. So I'm doing a bottom up and a top down at the same time. So after I've gone through with my one and a half, now I'm going in with a one and I'm going a little bit lower than I did previously to make sure all my lengths blend. And this is a, a, a C shaping kind of methodology where I'm laying the flat of the clipper blade against the head and then slowly arcing it out as I go up. Now here I'm working down to a half, a, a half guard, one half, and opening and closing the blade as I need to and listening for the clipper to cut. It's as much of a visual form of cutting as it is an audible form of cutting because I want to hear it cutting and then slowly start to get the blade closer and tighter as I go lower and lower and lower on the head. Please click the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up if you like the video. And if you click the bell notification, you will be updated for any future videos that we post. Now, this is purely just fine tuning. I start large and then slowly start to fine tune, slowly start to fine tune as I start to blend my line out. Now you'll see right here, I'm actually grabbing the head and stretching it up as I start to try to get that real close blend right through there with the half inch. So by stretching the skin, it allows me to have a larger patch to blend the hair through with. If it's compressed, it's harder to blend. If I stretch it out, it becomes easier to see where I need to blend the clippers through. And it's just a matter of fine tuning. It's a constant fine tuning, fine tuning, fine tuning. So you'll go through and fine tune this until, I mean, you get bored of it or you've done as much as you can do or you've cut all their hair off. So that's one of the real perils of this is to not blend it so high that they end up with no hair. That's why I start off with that first line of where it's really super short because that gives me an idea of what I need to blend out. Now here I'm going through with my uh, neck trimmers and this one has an adjustable blade on it as well. So I'm getting it as close as I can and cutting everything as short as possible. And then I'll move the blade out a little bit and then go up and start to blend that line in. And just constantly going over it, listening for the cut as much as I'm seeing the cut. And once that I feel that I've got that whittled down and clean enough, then I'm going to go through and start working on the top. Now here I'm going to grab my Tokyo scissors and I'm going to go through and start blending in vertical sections up through the crown. So I can't, the clipper is only going to cut a certain length of hair. Once it gets longer, the hair starts to kind of bend in the clipper and it doesn't cut clean. 
So I'll have to hold in my hand at a certain point. Now the step between my hand and where the clipper left off is a little bit difficult to deal with because it's thinner than my fingers. So I can't really use it in my fingers and I can't really do it with the clipper by using guard. So I have to do something in between. So I'm either going to clipper over comb it or scissor over comb. And since I already have the scissors, that's what I'm going to do is go through and scissor over comb and blend any of that line out that I need to between the clipper work and the top of the head. And I'll just keep going over it and just gently cleaning up any kind of uh, long pieces that hang over until I get a good blend. So now we're going to work on the sides. And if you don't already, give us a follow on social media. We cover all the bases. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and even TikTok. A lot of good information on there. Now just continue from the front to the back at an angle to try to make sure I don't have too much of a corner sticking out there over the, the top to the sides. And then scissor over combing that to make sure I have a nice smooth blend. Now with scissor over comb, it's, it's a rhythm. You just have to get into a rhythm and keep the blade moving and slowly tracing the line as opposed to trying to cut length off. I just want to trace what's already there to clean it up. Now here I'm going to use my Tokyo thinning scissors and I'm going to go through and thin the top and I'm going to thin it quite a bit but as if I was cutting the length. And I want to go through and take some of that length off with the thinning scissors and that way it's going to leave it really, really soft and really smooth and I'm not going to have any lines at all on the top. So it's going to really blend and mesh and be easier to control and I can style it a lot of different ways. Now the only downside of this is that it takes all the weight out of the shape that I cut into it. So now I'm going to use my Osaka scissors only because they're shorter and then I'm going to actually channel cut very lightly, almost slide cutting, but just gently closing the scissor as I'm going through and slightly channel cutting the top of this to put a little bit more weight back into it so I can see the separation. If I don't do this, I can't see the separation and it all just blends together. Now I'm going to comb everything forward and down and point cut any kind of fringe that I want. I want to keep all this real PC a little longer around the front than I do on the top of the head. And I'm just going to go through and piece this out to where I see that it fits. Now after I feel like I've got this like I want, I'll just comb it and check it and make sure everything is right. And then from there I'm going to go through with my feather nape razor. And I'm going to lather everything up where I'd cut it really short with my neck trimmers. And now I'm just going to go through and clean that up and shave that off to where it's really super clean. This will give you probably three or four more days of, of cleanliness and crispness on the cut as opposed to just using the neck trimmer. I'm using the nape blade because it makes me a little bit more confident with it and not so worried about cutting the poor boy. And you'll see me stretching the skin taut so that I can drag the razor off of it and keep it really, really clean and prevent from cutting. Please check out the Jatai Academy. There's a lot of really great info on there. And here is the end result. And I think it looks pretty good. Not too bad. We'll see you next time.